All right, so we've seen that we can add um, and com you know, combine, basically, radicals as long as the radicand in the index is the same. But what happens if that's not true? In this case, if we add square root of 8 plus 6 square roots of 2, these radicands are not the same thing. Or are they? Whenever we look at the square root of 8, that's not fully simplified. If I wanted to fully simplify that, then I would have to think of two things that multiply together to get 8. One of them should be a perfect square. So I could rewrite 8 as being 4 times 2. And then I could take the square root of each one. So the square root of 4 would be 2, and then we still have the square root of 2. This is the square root of 8 fully simplified. Now this 6 square roots of 2 is fully simplified because we can't do anything with a 2 underneath a radical. So now we're looking at 2 square roots of 2 plus 6 square roots of 2. Now this we can add together because they do have the same radicand and the same index. So 2 of those plus 6 of those would be 8 of those square roots of 2. So you see the only way you can add, add them or you know, combine these like terms is if they're the same. But sometimes you'll be able to make them be the same. So we shouldn't just throw it out and say, oh, we can't work with that because these are not the same. Like in this case, we have a 54x underneath the radical and a 24x underneath the radical. Now, at this point right now, we can't combine these like, because they're not like terms. But we might be able to simplify. And in fact, 54, we could rewrite as 9 times 6. Um, and now, 9 is really, th uh, square root of 9 is 3. So I could rewrite that as 3 times the square root of 6x. Don't forget we had that 5 on the outside. So really, that term simplifies into 15 square roots of 6x. Now for the next one. Let's see if we can break that down. 24 we could rewrite as 4 times 6. And then if we take the square root of each one of those, this becomes 2 square roots of 6. Oops, we can't forget our x underneath there. But originally it had a 3 on the outside. So technically this term will reduce down to 6 square roots of 6x. Now we can subtract them. We can combine those because they have the exact same uh, radicand. So if we have 15 minus 6 of those, then that would be 9 of those radical 6x's. So that's how we would combine it. Now there are other times that you may or may not be able to do anything, and that's okay. Here in this example, we have 2 square roots of 8 plus 3 square roots of 10. Now, we could, I mean, we, we look at this square root of 8 and we say this is not simplified. So we do need to simplify as much first as possible. 8 we could rewrite into 4 times 2. And then if we take the square root of both of those, 4, square root of 4 is 2. So that would simplify to 2 square roots of 2. But don't forget we have this 2 on the outside. So that entire term technically is 4 square roots of 2. For this term, the square root of 10, we really can't do anything. There, you can't find two things that multiply together to get 10 where one of them is a perfect square. So this would just be plus 3 square roots of 10. Because we cannot combine those, this is as far as we go. There's really nothing else that we can do to this problem. And that's okay. Sometimes you'll be able to combine them, sometimes you won't. But it's very, very similar to having something like 5x squared plus 2x. We can't combine those because they are not like terms. So we just have to leave them as is.